the 2024 WNBA draft has passed, but there's also a lot of excitement surrounding the draft classes to come. Today I'll be sharing my way too early prospect rankings for the 2025 draft. These could change a bit between now and the draft 12 months from now, so feel free to let me know what you agree with and what you disagree with in the comments below. But without further ado, let's kick off the rankings at number 1. Similar to Caitlin Clark in 2024, there's a no doubt number 1 prospect in 2025. UConn guard Paige Beckers. Beckers is an elite processor with impressive efficiency as both a passer and scorer. This past season, she became the second Division I player over the last 15 seasons to make 55% of her twos and 40% of her threes on 10 two-point attempts per game and five three-point attempts. And that, that second player was Kelsey Plum in 2017. Heard you turn out to be a pretty good player or something like that. Anyways, Beckers has also taken strides on the defensive end adding tremendous value as a helper and roamer. She reached the 95th percentile this past season in steal rate and the 93rd percentile in block rate. Kiki Iriofen went from an athletic toolsy big that averaged less than 7 points per game to one of the best players in the country in less than a year. Iriofen is a smooth athlete with comfortability initiating drives, cutting, operating on the block, the mid-range. There's also not many 6'4 players as versatile on defense as Iriofen. She sometimes took the assignment defending the opponent's guards and bigger wings for Stanford last season, along with good technique and footwork as a help side rim protector. This may come as a surprise to some, it may be a hot take, but Janiah Barker has the highest ceiling of any prospect in the 2025 draft, Beckers included. But the reason for Barker at three is the chances of her reaching that outcome is just not all that likely, but there's also a solid baseline of skills that makes you feel comfortable taking that risk on her in the lottery. At 6'4", she's a gifted athlete with an advanced handle, pull-up mid-range game, passing chops, and excellent defensive value. There's just a lot to like. She transformed Texas A&M from a bottom-of-the-pack defense in the SEC to one of the best defenses in the country when she was on the court. Barker could return to school in the end of the draft in 2026, but she's indicated before that she plans to turn pro after her third college season. Notre Dame's Olivia Miles has dealt with some injuries over her college career, the most recent being a torn ACL that kept her sidelined for the entire 2023-2024 season. Miles is a creative point guard with mind-boggling passing ability and change of pace as a driver. She can make passes from a variety of angles and create a ton of advantages for her teammates. The main question is just her three-point shooting. She shot 19 percent on pull-up threes in 2023 and is a career 24.6% three-point shooter overall. NC State's Sanaya Rivers is a high-level athlete with physical tools galore, plus passing and the ability to defend one through three. However, she's an inconsistent shooter and finisher, but Rivers has the upside to become a future all-star at the next level. The case for Notre Dame Sonia Citron is simple. A 6 foot one utility wing with an efficient shot diet, the ability to attack closeouts, and steady defensive play. Citron's upside doesn't compare to Barker or Rivers, but there are a lot of bankable skills here with Citron's game that makes you project her as a high-level connective tissue at the next level alongside ball-dominant players. For sure my favorite prospect in the class, you saw Raven Johnson defend Caitlin Clark at the national championship. She's 5'9 with a near 6'3 wingspan. She has a very unique physical profile. She's strong, she can defend multiple positions, and she has the upside to make multiple all-defensive teams at the WNBA level, along with added value passing and an improving three-point shot. But the negatives is her mechanics are very clunky. Even though she has improved, she still struggles to make free throws, and she doesn't really make pull-up threes at all. So. That'll be a work in progress for her, but there's a lot of skills that you really look at and say this is a future WNBA starting point guard. In a similar vein to Citron, Tina Pow Pow's combination of quick decision making, the most efficient three point shot in college basketball, and average but not awful defense makes her a good bet to stick in the WNBA and a WNBA rotation at that for a long, long time. If I made this same video last year, Layla Filia likely would have been three to four spots higher, but she didn't quite make the strides I was looking for in terms of her finishing and pull up three point shooting, which is basically non-existent. Besides that, there's a lot of value in her ability to knock down catch and shoot threes, defend the opponent's best wing, and create in the mid range.
For a second, just imagine Olivia Miles, but a worse defender and athlete, and that's what you're looking at with someone like CLW. She's one of the best passers in college basketball, and her three-point shooting has been better in spurts than someone like Miles. So it's possible that she irons out her mechanics in the WNBA, but right now, there are concerns with that and her athleticism. That's why she's here at number 10. So here's a recap of my top 10 prospects. I won't dive into my number 11 through 20 prospects in this video, but I'll cover them at some point down the line, probably closer to the college season. But here's a look at my honorable mentions. These aren't in any order, just kind of put by team and stuff like that. But if you enjoyed this video and you're interested in more WNBA draft content, more WNBA content and all that kind of stuff, I can do more of these videos on future drafts, 2026, 2027, and I'll also get into the WNBA season tracking the rookies the second year players stuff like that will be coming soon to the channel but yeah hit the subscribe button hope you guys have a great day